everyone, it's Maria from Maria Space here to tell you about the new National Geographic Kid Books. They are amazing and I'm going to show them to you now. This is the National Geographic Kids Extreme Records. This has some amazing things in here, like, like for instance, this inflatable duck. It's the biggest, look how big it is next to this bridge. Is that crazy? Ignore the nails, I am not a nail person. Um, I don't bite them, they just break off, because I don't get them done. So anyway, back to the book. You don't know National Geographic Kids. Um, I don't know how that's possible, because they are some of the most amazing books. Um, Nat Geo Kids. These, this one retails for $14.99. It's full of very colorful pictures. I don't know how many are in here. It probably says it's somewhere on here. But um, what's great about this is the way they do the pictures and the text. There's some text here. And then you can see all this fun, large text in different sizes. Very colorful. Full of information, tidbits that our kids are interested in. Uh, I'm just flipping through real fast so you can see. It's a good size. You can take this pretty much with you anywhere. Um, and like I said, it's just all full of colorful, interesting pictures. Um, Mind-blowing stats, stories, facts on the planet. And that's what's good about Nat Geo Books is there's just so much in here and you're always finding something new. And if you're not someone who just sits down and reads from cover to cover, these books are great because you just kind of flip, find something and go, oh, I'm interested in reading. And then your kid will read it because of the way it's done. These are books that my kids take with them when we have long car rides is because there's just so much to see. Um, the next book I have is Little Kids First Book of Y2. You know how kids are always asking why, why, why? This book kind of helps them out. What's good about the National Geographic kids' books, these were soft covers. This is for little kids. Is This is a hardcover book. It's not going to get bent, and the pages aren't going to rip or get damaged. Um, and you can see the text is larger. The pictures are larger. The salon says, why do I blush? There's some in here, and why do I cry? Why do I sweat? Why am I cold? Why do my feet stink sometimes? And then you can see there's really cute, fun pictures for kids. Why does cotton candy melt in my mouth? Why are fireworks so loud? It's a really great book for kids. Um, this one also retails for $14.99. So, this is real or fake. I don't know how I missed this. We had the books on the table for a week and somehow, some way, maybe my kids had it with them the whole time. I don't know. Um, this one is retails for $7.99. And this says, yes, it's true. There's really a place in Oregon, USA, where you can do yoga with goats. There's actually a place in Burning, New Jersey that does the same. But you can see there's a goat doing yoga. And so the book is kind of broken up with, here you go. This is a page of real. And then... There's a page of, where are you? Bought the fake picture. I'm so hungry, I hope you don't hear my stomach. And then it says fake. Um, but I do know that there is a beach where pigs, the story of thousands of really big pigs taking over the island, which doesn't exist, is made up. But this tale isn't terribly far from the truth. Yeah, I was gonna say, I know that there's an island with pigs, but this is awesome epic oh this is eight awesome epic okay let me try this again more than 50 picture pack top eight lists so that's what this is there we go so top eight lists of let's look eight stupendous slides so then it's going to give you a title and it's going to give you eight slides and it's going to give you information about the slides where they are how big they are maybe where they were built pretty cool 
uh, mind-blowing illusions. I love stuff like this. It's just so fun. But you can see how they lay out the book. Like I said, good for kids who do not love reading. My kids are not readers. Um, I wish they were. But this is kind of good because, like I said, picture, colorful picture with um, some text and large and small fonts that kind of changes it up so that they are interested in reading. It doesn't overwhelm them. This is National Geographic Kids Almost. And you can see the size of that. Oh, by the way, this one, $12.99 uh, for this one. This one, $14.99. This has incredible animal stories because National Geographic is full of animals. When I was a kid, I went to my grandparents' house. There was always National Geographic. Nothing like this. The stories were long and most of them very boring to me because it was just not for a kid. It was too much. This, really cool. This is quizzes in here and, you know, finds and games and... See, here's some games right here, and then lots of fun information. It's not boring at all. You can just flip through, find something you're interested in, and read it, and you're always going to find something you want to read. So last but not least, National Geographic birthday cards. These are postcards, there's 30 of them, and they're really cute. Um, like this one right here says, I hear it's your birthday. And on the back, it's just postcards. So there's 30 fun birthday cards for kids to write to each other. And these days, no one is getting mail. This is fun mail. This is the kind of mail people want to receive. This one retails for $9.99, I didn't say that. By all means, check out the rest of the post. Hopefully you are having a wonderful day. I need to go pick up my now eighth grader from school. So I wish you all a wonderful day. Take care.